Hey, everybody. Okay, we are starting tomorrow, and I'm so excited, but I wanted to take a few minutes and explain to you what our daily task sheet is going to look like. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to share my screen with you, and we're going to go over it. And any questions you have, definitely ask in the comments. So let's go ahead and share our screen. Here it is. Okay, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to try to um, make it a little bigger for you if I can, possibly. Can we make it bigger? There we go. Okay. So this is the winning day. Okay. This is super important. And the reason why is because this is your business. See if I can make this bigger. Um, and I want you as business owners to really take a look every single day. The days you don't feel like doing this, I want you to know what is my goal today? Sometimes just writing it down. I plan on printing this, but you don't have to. You can literally take a notebook and just answer these questions. You can do it on your phone. It really is up to you. And the thing is, it just has to work for you. What is something that's actually attainable for you each day? Honestly, I'm just going to print a bunch of these and put them in a folder. That's what I'm doing. So today's goal. All right. So what is going to be your goal each day? Here's the one. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. I want you to complete the daily tasks each day. And we're going to go through it down. You can probably see that box where it says life. I'm going to explain that to you. But whatever it is, maybe your goal is you want to sign a new ambassador. Maybe your goal is to follow up with your team. Whatever it is, okay? And then why? So I honestly want you to fill this out every single day. I want you to remember. I already gave you a post and if you're not sure what your why is, I want you to go back to this group or even ask in the comments for me to tag you. And I will, I get, I wrote a whole post to figure out your why. Okay. Why are you doing this? What do you really want? I want to get out of my nine to five. I want more time with my family. I want to be able to pay for sneakers for my kids, you know, during the school year. I want to not struggle. I want to take my kids on vacation. Okay, I want to really help people. I've, I've seen how I have suffered all these years and I know these products work and I want to do this. Whatever it looks like for you, I want you to write it down every single day, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. The affirmations. I'm about to make another post about affirmation. <clears throat> but here's the thing is I need you. So I used to really struggle with affirmations because I, I just lean on the Lord and I used to be like, I didn't want to write things like I'm amazing. I'm going to, it's, it's more than that. Okay. And again, I'm going to write a new post later on today about what, how do you find your affirmation? But these are truths. These are fighting against the lies of the enemy. I am capable of doing whatever God calls me to do. I have products that I know can change lives. I am capable of learning. I truly deeply care about people. I want a different life for my kids. And whatever it looks like for you, again, we're going to look at a post. So if you're struggling with your why or your affirmations, just I want you to take time to answer those questions in the post that I did earlier. Okay. This is something I talked a little bit about my live yesterday, your 30 day goal, your 60 day goal, your 90 day goal. You're going to work backwards. Okay. So what I mean by that is ultimately, what do you want? I want diamond, you guys. That's what I want. I, I, from the beginning, I want to be a diamond, but am I going to be a diamond this month? No, I'm not going to be unless some miracle happens. It can, who knows, but realistically, what is your ultimate goal? Okay. And then you're going to work backwards from there. If I want to be diamond by May of 2024, um, or let's, let's start smaller. Let's, let's say you want to be, um, Ruby by December. Okay. Maybe you just started. I want to be Ruby by December. What does that look like? Okay, so we're going to break it down. We're going to make another video later on, really breaking down how to come up with the ranks, how to find out where you are. But just as a small recap, let me just tell you, if I want to be Ruby by um, December, then that means I need 500 points. Okay, so I need 500 points. So that means, okay, so let's say I have no points. So right now, so I would take my calculator and I would divide five by, I don't know, let's say it's five months away. I should know this. Okay. So that means I need to grow a hundred points a month. Is that possible? It is possible. It is. And how do we do that? Well, first we got to get to gold. Okay. And then we need to help create golds, things like that. So maybe your 90 day goal 
would be, I want to have 300 points in 90 days. So my 60 day goal is I want to have 200 points by 60 days. My 30 day goal, I wanted to get to hundred points. I want to grow by hundred points, 60 points. And, um, I mean, I'm sorry, hundred points, 200 points. So it might look something like, okay, um, from 30 day goal, hundred points growth. That means I'm going to be a gold ambassador. So write that down. Okay. And that means I need 19 people on my team or whatever it is. Subtract the amount you already have. Some of you are really close, right? So that would be something. So on that 30 day goal, I might write um, gold ambassador and then how many more people you need and how many points you need. Okay. Um, if that's too much and that's confusing and you're not there yet, don't you worry. Okay. This I'm giving you a big overview, but you also have an upline. You also have people on your team that will sit with you one-on-one -on -one and answer your question. So as I'm going, if you have a question, you're like, what does that even mean? Please reach out to me um, or to whoever your sponsor is. And if I'm not your sponsor or I know someone in, you know, I know you're on a team that someone can help you, I'll point you in the right direction. Please do not get overwhelmed. Know that I'm speaking bigger because a lot of us have been here a while, but if you haven't, we will break this down for you. Okay. So I want you to, but you've got to know where you're going. And we talked a little bit yesterday about, okay, if I'm going to grow a hundred points, that means this is what I have to do each day. These goals are just to set your pace. So if you want to be gold and have a hundred points, that means you need about, you need a total of 20 people on your team. Okay. If you want to 60 day goal, you might not be ready for senior gold and that's okay. Maybe you'd want to get to 200 points. That means you need to create a gold or create two senior silvers on your team and you will grow 100 points. So you write that. I want to help, you know, one person get to senior silver and I want to, you know, grow my team by this many points. Maybe your 90 day goal is senior gold. OK, that means so. That's what I want you to figure out. If you need help, please let me emphasize, reach out. I want to, if you're on my team, I will map this out for you because right now, if I, as a brand new person, or even for me as a Sapphire diamond, seems far away, right? So I, we just take our next step right now, before I can get to diamond, I need to get back to Sapphire. So my mind needs to go, okay, I need to get back to 2000 points. What is it going to look like to get to those points? So you just want to look at your next step. All right, let's get into it now. Let's move on. Um, but I want you to write those each day. I want it to be in front of you every single day so you know what you need. Your brain wants to prove you right, okay? So when you're looking at it, when you're looking at why you're doing this, you're looking at what your goals are, your brain is going to work for you. It wants to prove you right. So let's look at this next part. Life. Now, again, tomorrow morning when I post the very first video, and I did explain it a little bit in the other video, but when I when I post the first task, I will break that down for you in simple explanations. OK, so here's what I want to say about this part. This is just for you to check off if you want to write down the number next to you. So for an example, OK, I loved on people. That means I've connected with people. I'm going to I'm going to plan on connecting with five people a day. So I might write the number five right here. OK, I want to just do I'm looking to do two invites a day. Did I do my two invites? I'm going to check it off and I'm going to write how many I did. How many people did you follow up with? Now, a lot of times with follow up, I set my timer for this one. So did I follow up? I did. I set my timer for 15 minutes. I went back through my messages and I followed up with people. Okay. Did I engage on social media? Did I post? Did I make a reel? Did I make a phone call? Did I engage with people in my community? Did I meet somebody for lunch? You just check that off. And if you want to write some notes, go for it. That's what that means. I will explain that deeper in tomorrow's first post. Okay. Personal growth. What does this mean? I'm challenging myself right now. This is personal for everyone. Um, I'm challenging myself to listen to a, like a 20 minute podcast or some kind of training something each day, every single day. And that's been something I've been really good at. And I think that's why I'm a Sapphire ambassador. Um, so personal growth is just, are you pouring into yourself? This might even be your time with the Lord. Maybe you're, it's some scripture that you're reading. Maybe it's your prayer time. Maybe it's, um, you know, you, like I, I something else I'm challenging myself right now is to read, uh, 10 pages a day, whatever it is, I want you to write down what you did, you know, whatever you did for personal growth. All right. Now here's the thing. I'm breaking this down a little bit more. 
And so this next part, who did I invite? I don't want you just to write you who like your number. I want you to tell me who you invited that day. So here's who I invited. Just write them down. And then over here where it says my three no's, I want you to aim to get three people to tell you no every single day. That is your goal. Now, I'm telling you, you're going to do this with authenticity. You're going to really talk to, we're, we're going to give you trainings on how to talk to people. I promise you, we're not leaving you out in the cold, but like, I want you to understand that it's okay if people say no, this isn't for everyone. It's not a personal attack against you. If anything, they're saying no to themselves. So once you can get over that fear and discomfort of someone telling you no, and feeling like you've been rejected, I'm telling you, you will be miles ahead of everybody else because that's the hardest part. So we want to make make that, we want to normalize that. I could promise you the diamonds, the sapphires, the emeralds, the people, you know why they're there is because they've had people tell them no far more than someone who has it, like who's not there. Um, I can tell you that right now because it just is what it is. You, we get far more no's, but every no brings you closer to a yes. So I want you to write down who told you no. Okay, let's look at this reflect part. This is going to be difficult for some of you, even myself, okay? Because I don't love looking at reports, but this is your business. You are going to take a hard look at your business every single day. I'm telling you, okay, I have some business owners on my team and I some of you may be business owners. Okay, if you're running a coffee shop, you are not going to ignore your numbers and your customers. You're going to know where you are, right? You're going to have at least a bookkeeper, somebody to see. You're not just going to like randomly know. You need to know how many cups you need to order. You need to know what your budget is. You need to know, you know, what you're bringing in. So that is the same thing. You are a business owner. I need you to start treating it like that. I'm telling you, this can produce incredible income for you and your family, but you have to treat it like a business. This is not a hobby for you. You're not, if you're here, this is not a hobby. Okay. So your points, again, if you are brand new and you do not know what this means, do not get overwhelmed. Ask. That is what we're here for. You have personal coaches. You have people who want to sit with you one-on-one -on -one and explain this to you. Do not turn this off or shy away because you don't understand. I will break it down for you if you're on my team. It will be my honor and my joy. It's what I do. The person who brought you in, if they're working this business to you, they want to help you. So let's look at it. Your points. If you log into your virtual office, and this is going to require you to log into your virtual office every day. Okay, you're going to log in. You're going to click on dashboard. When you hit dashboard, you're going to see what your points are. Okay, and it'll tell you. So I want you to each day write them down. Okay. Um, so what I like to do is I like to make it almost like a fraction and say, okay, I have, um, a hundred and uh, I'm a Sapphire. So I've got a lot of points right now. So let's say I, I think I have 216 points. So I've got 216 and I'll write slash out of 2000 because that's where I'm going this month, right? I want 2000 points this month. So I'm going to say I have 216 out of 2000. So I want you to write down, okay, I've got three points out of 50 right now. Maybe you're trying to get to senior silver, whatever it is. So you're going to write your points there. How many level ones have you added this month? I've added one level one this month. So put it down there. Okay. How many has my team added this month? My team's added one. So we're going to put one there. Leaders retreat points. You're also going to track this because we are going to the Dominican Republic. You deserve this with your spouse or with your best friend or your sister, or whoever. I want you to stop telling yourself it's not possible because it is. It is possible. If you're starting today, I'm promising you, I'm promising you it's possible for you. It's so much of it here. So I want you to track your leaders retreat points and put them down right there. Okay. Daily habits posted. Now this is something special. Um, Ashley is Ashley Potter is going to teach us a little bit more about what this is. But just as a quick overview, we want we care about your health and your wellness as well. And this is something that I'm going to be posting to my stories every day. And it's going to be my, where my, what my habits are. And this goes more along with your health, your work, you know, exercise and vitamin and you know your supplements you're taking. Ashley will explain more. Okay, we talked about the three no's and then notes. How are you feeling? What do you want to write? This is for you. If you want to turn your page over and write on the back, go for it. You want to get a journal? I think it's good. Like write down how you're feeling. Why are you feeling that? So much of this is mindset. 
Again, you guys, we're going to be doing trainings all through. You're going to hear from our jewels. This is not going to just be here, do your tasks, and we're going to leave it. We are going to give you training. So I would like to hear from you. What do you want to learn? What do you need to learn? Like, where is an area that you're like, okay, I just have some questions. Tell me what this is because everything is figure outable. Everything is teachable. So this is what this daily sheet is going to look like. Let me go ahead and stop sharing right now. Okay, that's the daily sheet we're going to go through each day. Ashley's going to tell us more about what that daily habit sheet looks like. And you guys, there's other tools out there. Um, there are things like I love, if you guys saw Emily Roberts Cole, she put the sticky notes. Like I personally want to add, this is crazy. I've never done it. This does not have to be your goal, but like my goal is to add 20 new customers this month. Personally, I want to challenge myself to do that because that's where I am right now. And I'm ready. Maybe your thing is, I just want to, I want to get three customers this month. I want to get four customers in this month, put them down. Like, you know, or maybe you're like, I need fifth, I need 10 team members to get Put those sticky notes down, number them, and take them off as you get them. Track it however you want to track it, whatever works for you. We're also going to upload a couple of things in the files of this group. Again, I want you to tap in and, and, and know what works for you. Don't do something that's not going, you're not actually going to do because it doesn't help you. For an example, there's a, a sheet, and I'm going to post it in here. I'm going to put it in there for you. There's a sheet that... Um, it's like how many points you need daily to get to your next goal. I like that, but like that didn't work for me because that's just not how my business works and it would stress me out a little bit. But some people, that's what they used to get to their next rank. Like my point is we're all different type of learners. Um, you've got to tap in. So we're going to give you different tools. As a teacher, we don't have lesson plans. We get these books that were like this big. You teachers know. Did I accomplish every single thing in that book? No, it is a resource. I would go in and I would do what worked for me in my classroom. That is what your business looks like too, okay? So do you need to do the, the basic daily tasks? Yes. If you wanna move forward, yes, fill out that sheet every day. The amount is really depending on your goal and the way you get there and how you track, whether it's the sticky notes or some of these charts we're gonna do, that's up to you, okay? But the most important thing for you the most important thing is you've got to be committed to the decision that you made. If you're going to be here, you got to be here. Okay. You've got to make it a priority for your family. There's ways to do it. We'll have trainings probably on time blocking and different things, but you've got to know why you're doing it. You've got to know what your goal is and you got to just decide you're going to show up every day. And you know what? You're going to show up sometimes and it's not going to, it's going to stink. You're going to be really bad at it. You're going to make a post and like, nobody's going to comment or see it or po or say anything. You're going to have a day where like you've got a fight with your husband and your kids are not listening and you don't feel good. You're going to show up anyway. Okay. As a teacher, when I had a bad day, I had to show up for work. Now it's not so rigid. Nobody's chasing after you. Um, yes, you have time flexibility to take off if you need to here and there, but you got to get back on. Okay. You got it. It's the hardest thing is managing yourself, but like we're here to help you. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna put this in, I'm, I'm recording this. It's going in the group. Please let me know what questions you have. We start tomorrow. I'm so proud of you. You made a good choice. Go get some other people in here and do this with you. It's so much better when you have people to doing it with you. All right, my friends, love you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.